bread, 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 bread. Everyone, Dan here from the Zyma Minecraft, and welcome back to another Minecraft mini mod showcase. Where today we're gonna be getting all bread like thanks to the Bountiful Breads mod. Now, what this mod adds in is exactly what it says on the tin lots and lots of bread, including different kinds of bread, bread tools, and even a very special kind of bread too. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Now on the surface, this mod sounds a little bit weird. I mean, bread tools, bread stuff, can that really be that great? And I assure you, it can be. And Treoris here has set up something pretty cool. Now, um, where is it? Okay, it's just across from the lab, right? Awesome, so I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there in a second. So we'll just wait for Chorus to get over there, but we'll just take a little tour around the outside for a second. And I haven't seen this before, but apparently he's built... Yep, he's, he's definitely built something. Is this supposed to be bread? Are you kidding me? Is that actually supposed to be... How did... What? How did you get here so fast? I just walked around here. How did you get here so fast? <laughs> okay, okay, you're a little you're a little bit weird today, but it looks like you are fully prepared here. I mean you've got like bread ore in the floor, which is what this is right here. You got um little trees around here which aren't made out of bread, unfortunately, but this giant loaf of bread is looking pretty impressive i must say so myself so let's have a look at what you have got for me so we'll take a look in this chest here first and we need to find out how to make some bread and actually i've got some on me just here and we need to make this into slices first so let me just borrow this crafting table and all you need to do is simply place one piece of normal minecraft bread into a crafting table and it will slice it up into three little slices which is awesome and you get an achievement called better than sliced bread that is actually really really cool and i'm not sure if you can eat these i'm guessing that you can but it'll be a bit dry because there's like no butter or jam or anything on it what do you think uh. yeah I, I thought so it would be a little bit dry so um let's have a look in here and see what else we've got you can also add one piece of normal bread to seeds and you will get your special rye bread you can also get a bagel which requires four bread in like a little diamond shape just like this you can get a baguette which is really awesome which needs three breads in a diagonal shape just like like this and you get a tasty tasty baguette which gives you loads more hunger than a normal three amount of breads which is really good and then you've also got a biscuit which is nice and tasty and takes three breads just like this now we're going to move on to some special things and i can't remember which chest we need to go into and oh I've forgotten to make some toast. How how did you let me forget that? I need to make some some toast in here. So what I need to do is cook. Why why did you have bread in here? That's not how you make toast. That's cheating. He's trying to make loads of slices at once. But what you need to do is just put simple slices of bread into the furnace, and it will give you yummy yummy toast. And it's gonna fill this bread with the the amazing smell of well. Well, bread, I guess. I love the smell of toast, especially in the morning. It smells so good. And here we go. We've got ourselves some toast, which is a little bit more brown than the normal bread and tastes absolutely beautiful. So which chest was next? I know this one is last. Let's have a look in this one. There's absolutely nothing in here. Why do you keep stuff in here? Jeez, why have you got that there? Let's put the toast in there so it's actually got a use. And then go into here. So you can also make cornbread, which requires one bread, one egg, and one sugar, which is very tasty. And also you can make a mega loaf of bread, which requires three bread just on the bottom section here. And you will get your tasty loaf, which gives you a lot of of hunger back now can we place this down it'd be so good if we could if we could place that bread into the world this mod would be out of this world now for those eagle-eyed viewers out there you would have seen the bottom part of this chest yes there is a bread tool set and a bread armor set which is amazing check out this bread sword it does 6.5 damage this bread is seriously gonna give you some pain i don't know any bread apart from maybe like frozen bread or a baguette that could cause you 6.5 health of pain um, there's quite a lot though. There's quite a lot, isn't it? Let's take this armor set as well and see what you look like. And we're going to test out some of these tools just to see how good they are. Right then, let's grab... Um, let's put this on first and see what we look like. Let's grab that. And we look like we're in a kind of cardboard suit, actually. Not bread. It does feel like bread because it's all on my skin and stuff. Feels a little bit weird. But it gives you a lot of armor. Look at that. It gives us just two and a half under diamond protection, which is crazy. But we do look super cool. Now we've got the bread hoe. Look at that. 
<laughs> oh man, that looks so good. Just a piece of bread on the end of a stick. We've also got the shovel, which is two breads stuck together. The axe, which is kind of like the end of a loaf of bread. Just kind of, um, I don't really know, just kind of shoved and squashed at the end. The pickaxe. <laughs> Oh, it gets better. The pickaxe looks amazing. We've got like a, a triple bread glued together and the sword is huge No wonder it does so much damage It's got a massive amount of bread on it And I'm guessing this is either like stale bread when it gets really hard or it's or it's very frozen bread But to be honest, it's huge. So it is gonna do a lot of damage right then Let's test out this bread pickaxe on this bread ore and what bread ore gives you is of course more bread And I don't think I've said bread this much in my life. Definitely not in a video. So let's also try out this bread axe just by chopping down this tree here. And I got the achievement getting wood. Fantastic. Not as good as the better than a sliced bread one though. Not as good as that. What else can we try out? Let's try out the shovel as well. And they actually have pretty good work rates on them. They're pretty efficient and they're not too bad. Consider they're made out of bread. I must say I am impressed. Now the final two items I'm going to show you. How do I look by the way, Taurus? Do you think I look good? Ah. Yeah, I guess that's a, that's a fair comment. Right then, let's go into this ender chest and we've got two special breads. The first one is banana bread and this is my one of my favorite breads in real life. It tastes so good and you need a golden nugget and one piece of normal Minecraft bread to craft it. But then we move on to magical bread, of course. And for this, you're going to need one little piece of selected chosen one bread in the middle. And then blocks of redstone around the outside. So eight in total, which is eight times nine, which is a lot of redstone. I think that's 71. I think. That's a, that's a lot of redstone anyway. My maths is probably extremely bad. But still, there is a lot of redstone here to make the magical bread. But it's so worth making because... Let me chow down on this. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm chowing down on it. It tastes so good. It's rainbows and it gives you absorption, regeneration, and resistance for five minutes. How good is that? That's literally the best bread I've ever eaten in my life. I'm feeling good and that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. So I hope Troros is... I was going to say, I hope Traoros takes this down, but it looks quite cool. I need to regrow that tree, otherwise it's going to look really bad. But Traoros, this actually looks pretty good, to be honest, buddy. So that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. And also, if you did want to check out this mod, then check it out in the description below as well. So if you did enjoy this video, then again, a like would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me and Traoros over here, and Grim, who's over in the lab, who I completely forgot about, I'll go and feed some bread to him in a minute, then and please do subscribe for daily Minecraft videos to join Team TDM today. Apart from that, thanks for playing some Minecraft with us today, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye!